Hi guys, today we're going to do a video on sketching a graph by point plotting. So, as per usual, we're going to start with an example that will illustrate this lesson. And the example we're going to use here is y equals x squared minus 2. Now some of you may be familiar with this shape of this curve. But nevertheless, we're going to use point plotting to point by point get a sketch of this graph. Okay, So in point plotting, we're going to create this little table here. And the first row is going to be the x values, the second row the y values. So we're going to arbitrarily choose a couple points, a couple x points, and then plug those x points into this equation. and out of it get the y points okay so let's start with say x equals negative 2 well if we plug in x equals negative 2 in here we're going to get negative 2 squared which is positive 4 minus 2 so we'll get 2 y equals 2 next we could choose negative 1 and if we plug that in there you can verify this we'll get negative 1. Next naturally we'll choose 0. If we plug 0 in there we get negative 2. Next we'll plug in 1 and we'll get negative 1 for y. And finally we'll plug in 2 and 2 squared is 4 minus 2 is 2, positive 2. And why not just do one more point because we have this column here plug in 3 we get 3 squared is 9 minus 2 is 7 okay so we got a bunch of points to work with and if we were to actually list these points here these points in Cartesian coordinates would be negative 2 2 negative 1 negative 1 0 negative 2 1 negative 1 2 2 and 3, 7. Now let's go over here and create a Cartesian plane where we can plot these points and sketch this graph. So this is our y-axis and this is our x-axis. Let's make a couple notches here about 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and we'll go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 should be enough for our points. And let's just go ahead and plot these points. Let's use a different color, have some fun. Okay, so let's start with this point right here. Negative 2, 2. So we go over 2 to the left and 2 up. And that's negative 2, 2. Next, negative 1, negative 1. We go to the left, negative 1 and down negative 1. Okay, I should have drawn this notch over here. Let's draw a notch here too for negative 2. Next, 0, negative 2. So 0, we don't go anywhere from the origin, but we drop down negative 2 in the y direction. So we got a point right there. Next, 1, negative 1. Go to the right 1 and drop down 1. And next, 2, 2. So we go to the right 2 and up 2. In the x direction 2 and in the y direction, positive 2. And finally, our last point here, 3, 7. So we go over to the x direction, positive 3, and up, positive 7 in the y direction, which is right around here. Okay? So we have more than enough points, and you can kind of see what this curve is going to look like. Now I'm going to give it a shot and try to connect these points in a smooth way, although my hand is not that fluid with this tool. Okay. And little arrows here indicating that these curve, this curve goes up into positive infinity. And this down here 
should be curvy, not, not a sharp point. Okay, so we see that this is the curve of y equals x squared minus 2. And this is what we call in math parabola. This is a parabola. Okay, so we learned how to take a function, namely the example we used here, break it out into x, y points, plot those points, connect the points, draw a curve, and get an idea of what this equation looks like on the Cartesian plane. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to my videos and watch the other tutorial videos on math and computer programs. Till next time, have a great day.